Hello, and welcome to another episode of Paul Plays TIS 100. So, where would we gotten to? Um, the next one, I believe, is this one here. Sequence, sequence Peak Detector. So, let's look what we need to do. We have in coming in here, two outs. Read a sequence. Write the min value to out.i. And write the max value to out.a. Right, so um, we can probably treat the min and the max as two kind of separate parts. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to move um, up to the register. I'm going to move the register down. And I'm going to move it right. So I should get the same value then going down this way and hopefully going down this way. So this i is what? The i is the min value. So I need to take a stream of numbers in, um, check and see if it's zero, which means I'm finished. Otherwise, compare it to the existing min, and if it's less, make it the new min. Right, um, sounds possible. Um, okay, so if I'm, what I'm gonna do is imagine in my head that we that I already have the current min that well no hang on wait 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 no I'm gonna have the min it's zero here isn't it so I'm gonna have to set it so move nine 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 I believe is the max value for this to the accumulator and I'm gonna call this R right so we now have the min value in the accumulator. So I need to um, get a new value in from the top. So I need to store the min. I, when this loop starts, I'm presuming that what's in the accumulator is currently the our current min value. So move the accumulator left. Let's give it to this guy here to look after. Move up to the accumulator. So I take the value in that's come from up here. So this is the new value. Is it zero? Jump unequal to zero um, thin. So that's our finished block of code somewhere. That's if we've now hit a zero. So it isn't a zero. I have the new value in the accumulator. I have the old value I moved off here so move right to my accumulator and move my accumulator back right again so in effect anything you send me i'll send you straight back so i'll act as a, this one here will act as a kind of little storage for this one to do this so jump in equal to zero so i have in the accumulator in here the new value i i can get the old the old current min back from here. So if I subtract left. So we'll imagine let's just do do numbers in our head. Imagine the old min was five out here and the new value I have is two. So if I subtract the min from the current value and get an answer of less than zero, I want to use the new um, sorry. If I get an answer of greater than zero, I want to use the new value. Jump greater than zero km for keep new. Does that make sense? So like if I had 10 out here and I had a two in and I subtract two, no, I subtract left, no, it's the opposite way around, isn't it? Jump less than zero, oops, okay. That makes sense. If I had a, if I had a old value of 10, a new value of two, I've got the two here, but I'm subtracting the 10 from it and that would give me minus eight. So therefore, if it's less than zero, I would like to keep the new value. So, keeping the new value, 
Um, so this bit of code I'm in here um, is we're happy with the old one. Now to get it, I'm going to need to move it back again. So move um, left to the accumulator. So I'm going to need to move it twice. Move back right. Okay, and then where do I want to jump to? I am now finished this loop. I need to get back to here. I don't want to do this reset. I just want to set the loop up again. So I'm going to call this L for loop. So jump L. So this is the reset, which kind of starts the whole thing again with a new high value for a minimum. And this is where we jump back to. So the next thing I'm going to do is Whatever way I do this loop, remember I've got to clear out two of these, so I've got to keep that in mind. So this is keep new, keep new. So I need the new value that I got. Okay, and I don't have that. I've lost that because I've subtracted it. So what I'm going to do is save it here, SAV. So I've got my new value in. I check and see if it's zero. This is the new value I'm comparing with. I save it. So this will also be in backup. I subtract the old value. I jump on less than zero to keep new. Otherwise I do this here where I grab the other value. So I've taken, I send this off here. The subtract left takes the first one out. The move left takes the second one out. Keep new. I need to restore the value from the backup, which is swap. But I also need to kill this second right, which we don't need, but I need to move it out of here. So a we'll move left to nil. That's a kind of, in effect, throw away that value. And then I need to jump again to L. So finished. What are we doing here? We need to move the left. So we're finished. Okay, so we so we got we get here. Let's go back on what we've done. We've already moved the accumulator left here, so we've got two of them sitting here in the right. We um we then, so that's the old value of what our minimum was got moved over here. We then move a new one in, we check it, it's zero. Okay, so the old, the current minimum is still sitting over here on the left. So move left to down, move left to nil, which in effect throws away the second one. And jump to R. Wow, just enough code there. Um, I don't have a label on its own line or anything. No comments in that. That is a full box. So when this one just has to move up to down. I'll give that a quick run. Um... Give that a quick run. Where do we get to? I think it's stalling because I haven't written this side here. Let's just get this done quickly. It's just a copy and paste job. Move um, left down. Control C and Control V. So now this <coughs> is going to be the same loop, except this one is now trying to find the max value. So I don't want to reset it to 999. I want to reset it to zero. So any value is going to be higher than zero, a little. And the other one, I still need to jump on equal to zero here. Oh, I can't do my little trick. I need to send, okay. 
I'm going to have to control C, control V. I'm going to have to delete this. I need a little space out to the side, and this one here was broken. I hadn't noticed that. Okay. So move up and down. Okay. So we reset it to zero and then jump on equal to finish, subtract, save, subtract left, jump on less than zero to keep new. I don't want to do that this time. I'm going to obviously, this is obviously going to be the opposite. So I want to jump on greater than zero to keep new. And these guys are all changed around, aren't they? So I'm going to go move accumulator to the right. Subtract, right, move, right to the accumulator, move, right to nil, move, right to down, move, right to nil. Okay, I think I've removed all the lefts from that code. Um, this new left to down, up to down. This is the co a copy and paste job of that, except we're checking jump greater than zero here for max. And this side here, move left to accumulate and send it back twice. Um, how's that look? Well, we'll give it a run. Yep, that's ticking through those numbers fine. So, I mean, this is a bit... Oh, excuse me. Um, yeah, it's a bit tricky how it took everything there. I presume we can do this a little better if we thought about it. I still can't get my head around being able to paralyze it. Do you know what I mean? Like, let this be doing a bit, but, you know, kind of split this in half and have... Oops, there we go. Um... In your regular segment, yes. Um, so that would be an interesting thing to have a think about. I mean, how do you speed this up by kind of doing half the work here and half the work here so this one can finish? You know, it depends on whether the algorithm, I presume, has any can be paralyzed. I mean, um, you know, when the way, um, the way let's say the way um a modern um intel cpu has or any, any of the, that chipset cpu have simd where you know in effect there are multiple parts or even you know multiple threads you know you could actually uh be do oh, it's very hard to know how you could do a compare like this i mean you know because Ah, anyway, look, okay, that's another one done. Um, I think it's terribly interesting, uh, little game. Uh, what, what I'm slightly, and, I'm, and I do know, I've seen screenshots of it where then there appears to be some sort of mini display coming up. I know that's coming up later in the game. What, and I've been playing an awful lot of Infinity Factory. If you want to watch those videos, that's another great game by the same people. The only thing which is slightly, I wouldn't say... Okay, a difference between this and Infinity Factory is this gives you all the toys. Well, okay, apart from obviously this screen, which is a different puzzle. But in terms of Infinity Factory, um, what's the difference? What am I trying to say here? Yeah, Infinity Factory keeps give you know as you do the first two puzzles, you get to do use one block, and then you get you know a lifter, and then you get a welder, and then you get a upside down conveyor, and all you know it as you progress through the puzzles each. You're not every new puzzle, but, you know, at various points of the game for the next group of puzzles, you're given a new toy kind of to play with and to solve puzzles with. Whereas this seems to have given you all the instructions in one go. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. It's just a different thing, I suppose. Anyway, that's just, just you know, my, what I was just having a little think about this. And, um, you know, all there is... You know, I, re I remember someone describing a game as, you know, okay, well, you know, you beat a level and it just, you know, gives you a harder level to beat, you know. And yes, I suppose it could be said to be lacking a little bit of things to look forward to, except new things to do. But, you know, I still think it's a, it's a, it's a very interesting and clever game, um, despite that. You know, it'd be nice, oh, when I get this instruction, 
life would be so much better. <coughs> oh, excuse my voice. Um, okay, thank you for watching. Um, if you like the video, please drop a like on it. Um, if you are enjoying um, TIS 100 and like to see some Infinity Factory, please consider subscribing to the channel. Any comments, love to hear from them. Um, thanks again for watching. Bye now.